Hi, welcome back to a new workout. Today we're going to do an upper body toning workout. You need a pair of light dumbbells. I use one kilogram for this workout and an exercise mat for the floor exercises. So get ready and let's start. Okay, here we go, starting this workout with a short warm-up before we go over to the main workout. You don't need your dumbbells or your exercise mat for that warm-up. Just step and swing your arms. Because the most uh, exercise we do in the warm-up are for the upper body. To get the blood in the arms, releasing the tension. Because that main workout is all upper body toning today. We do 10 different exercises, five in the first round, repeat it twice, and then have a water break and do five new exercises in the second round, repeat it twice again, and we finish with a bit of stretching. But first, warm up, swing your arms, cross in front, and after the swings, we're going to do some pulses up and down, just a few more seconds, come on, big swings. Open up all the way and cross in front. Making the steps, getting the heart rate up a little bit. And now come into a little wide stand, knee slightly bend. We're going to pulse down and palms up. Bring your hands up to the back and then swing up. Make yourself long. Up, swing up. And reach out. Swing. Pulse down, bring the hands up to the back as far as you can. Big motions, up and swing and swing. Just a few more. All in the warm up to get ready to do the main workout. We do three standing exercises, two floor exercises in each round. Final swings. And the last one, that's it. Okay, now one leg is going in front, the other one to the back. Hand on your knees and fast circles with that left arm. Upper body straight up, big circles. Make them big and fast. Final one and array first. Circle to the back, big circles. Get the blood in the arms, warm up the shoulders. You're going to need it. And last one, switch over to the other side, forward circles. Big ones, fast ones. Circles and reverse, backwards. Big circles, make them big. Just a few more and then just two more exercises in the warm up and then we're ready to go. Next one, add another step and we're going to do the alternating arm curls. So bring the thumbs towards the shoulders and extend. Curling, going to do some bicep curls, working the tricep, the shoulders upper part of the back, the chest, so the whole upper body is working in the main exercises. Step and curl, extend, alternating left and right, big steps, warm up, bring your thumbs to your shoulders and then lower the hand down. Just a few more seconds and then over to the final exercise in the warm up. Steps, and curl, curl, curl. Final ones, and that's it. Okay, come into a wide stand, knee slightly bent. We're going to swing the arms up and down, up and down. Come on, big swings, all the way up, all the way down. Right in front, up, left in front. Come on, keep swinging. That's it, just a few more seconds. And then we're ready. Swing it up. Swing it up. Almost.
toes. Ready. And that's it. Final swing. Okay, over to the main workout. Make sure you have your exercise mat nearby. You don't need it for the first three exercises, but pick up your dumbbells. And the first exercise we're going to do is for the shoulders and the triceps. We're going to bend the arms in a 90 degree angle. The, the elbows are up on shoulder height and we're going to extend. We keep the elbows still and just extending that lower arm, working the triceps. So feet on hip wide, knees slightly bent, upper body straight up. And there we go. Extend those arms. Keep your elbows up on shoulder height, your shoulders down low, chest up. Pull your belly in. That's it. Extend. Don't lower your elbows down, keep them still. Working the shoulders and your triceps. We do 45 seconds on that for 15 seconds. Active rest to go over to the next exercise. So stay strong. 10 seconds left. Extend. That's it. Elbows still. Shoulders low, chest up. Final ones. And that's it. Lower down. The next one is a cross pull. We swing the arms down, pull the elbows up, shoulder blades together, then lower the weights down and pull back up. And the first time left hand is in front, the second time right is in front. So you switch over side to side. There we go. Back straight, belly in and pull. Elbows up, swing, elbows up. Shoulder blades together, pull your elbows up, swing, and lift up, come on. Swing up, bring the shoulder blades together, cross, and swing. Working the back side of your shoulders and your upper back a little bit. Come on, 15 seconds left. Swing and pull, cross, and pull, cross, and pull. Just a few more. Keep your arms slightly bended. And the last one. That's it. Come on up. The next one is a bended shoulder swing. So the arms are going to bend in a 90 degree angle again. We're lifting the left elbow up, and then swinging over to the right. Tuck your belly in again. Back straight, upper body straight up. Left, swing over right. Left, swing over right. That's it. And it's an easy move. So come on, swing over in a fast pace. Really want to burn the shoulders up. Keep your arms in that 90 degree angle, wrist in a straight line, chest up, shoulders down, and just keep swinging, lifting the elbows up from left to right, left to right. 15 seconds. Come on. Working the side of the shoulders right now. Final seconds. Come on, right and left. And that's it, lower down. Okay, now weights to the side. You don't need them for the next two exercises. We're going to the floor. The next one, push-ups, regular ones. So hands are on shoulder height, on your mat, and we're going to lower down. So we're going to touch the floor with our nose and then pressing back up. Lower down, press up. The elbows go out a little bit, but not too far. And then of course, tuck the belly in and lower yourself down with a straight back. So no hips are going up and nose is going down. Hips are going down as well. And then press yourself up. That's it. On your own pace. If you can't press anymore, just stick into that plank position, push up position, but you can do it. Come on, go down and press up, go down, press up, almost there, one more, and then over to the other side, because we're going to press another exercise, but now working the tricep, the back side of our arms. Fingertips are pointing towards your heels. We're going to lift up the butt and then Bend the arms and press yourself back up, down and up. So you do not sit down, resting the butt on the floor. Keep it up, just step and press, step and press. That's it. Come on. Bend your arms, press up. On your own pace. 
Try to not use your legs, but your arms to bring yourself back up. You can do it. 15 seconds. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Come on. Stay strong. Up, down and up, down and up. And we do one more. Come on, up and standing straight up. We're halfway in the first round. So we're going to repeat the exercises, starting with the three exercises standing. And the first one is that one for the shoulders and the triceps. So feet on hip wide, bend your arms. Now your right one is up and extend. So if you had your left up in the first round, now your right arm is up. Shoulders down low, chest up, elbows still. And you can feel those triceps from those dips we did before. But ignore the burn and just extend. Don't lower your arms down. Just keep those elbows up, working the shoulders, and stretch out your arms. Come on. 10 more seconds, don't lower down, stay strong, up, extend, final ones, and that's it, now lower down, shake it out a really little bit, releasing the tension, and we're going over to the squash pulls, so feet on hip wide, knees slightly bent, bend over a little bit, but with a straight back, pull the belly in, and there we go, cross and pull, cross and pull. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together when you pull your elbows up. Working your upper back, the back side of your shoulders. Come on. Cross swing. Keep your arms slightly bended. And swing up. Pull. Pull. That's it. Shoulder blades together. Keep your back straight. That's it. And left in front, hop, pull, right in front, pull. 10 more seconds. Almost there. Up. Cross and pull. One more. And come on, up. Okay, we're going over to the side of the shoulders, doing the swings. So feet on hip wide, knees slightly bent, tuck the belly in. Shoulders down low, chest up. Palms are facing towards each other. And there you go. Right is going up, swing over to the left. And you don't swing that upper body. You're not working your arms, only lifting your elbows up, keeping your hips still, your upper body still. That's it. Elbows up in that 90 degree angle. Swing over, right or left. Working the shoulders. That's it, great job, come on. Keep your wrist in a straight line. Up, right, left, and right, and left. Keep swinging, 15 seconds. Over from side to side. Bringing the elbows up on shoulder height and then back to your waist. Final five seconds. Up. And that's it. Okay, you drop the weights. Over to the floor exercises again. Working the push-ups. So down on your knees. Hands under your shoulders. Cat already. Back in a straight line. And down we go. Touch the floor with your nose and then press up on your own pace, working your chest, your triceps, a little bit of your shoulders. So come on. Go down, push up. Go down, push up. Engage your abs, keep your back straight. That's it. Come on. Go down and up. Go down and up on your own pace. Come on. 15 seconds left. Don't quit, just go a little bit slower if you need to, but don't stop. You're almost there, up, we do one more, and that's it, over to the other side. We finish the first round with the tricep dips, and then you have your well-deserved break. So fingertips pointing to the heels again, chest is up, butt is off the floor, and there we go, down and up. Come on, press the heels down into the floor. Do not sit down. Only tap the floor with your butt and then press yourself back up. Come on, it's the final one. Before the break, bend your arms and press up. Bend your arms and press up. 
Ignore the burn. You're almost there. Come on. Up. Bend and press. Bend and press. 15 seconds. Don't quit. Keep going. Lower yourself down. No resting. Lift up that butt. Press up. Final five seconds. Come on. Finish strong. And we can do one more. Press up. That's it. Very well done. You finished the first round. Now, of course, have your water break, take some rest, shake out your arms, your shoulders, and then I see you in the next round. We do five different exercises. Okay, here we go for that second round, five new exercises. So grab your weights, starting with the standing exercises, and we're going to do the biceps. So the hands are going up on shoulder height, and we're going to curl, bringing the weights towards the shoulders. Come on. So you keep your arms up on chest height, and you only bend your elbow, bringing the weight towards the shoulder, and then extending again. Keep your arms slightly bent, so do not hop. Drop that weight down and overstretch your arm. Just keep the tension on your bicep, elbows up. And of course, tuck your belly and chest up. 15 seconds. Come on. Working the shoulders, the biceps. 10 more seconds. So bring that weight towards the shoulder and then extend. That's it, final one and lower the weights down. The next one is the reverse flies. What we're going to do is we bend over a little bit, palms are facing up, and we're going to make little pulses. So bring the shoulder blades together, chest up, hands in the back, and pulse it up, 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 up. That's it. Keep your arms slightly bent. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together and pulse your arms up. Working the back side of your shoulders and your upper back. Come on. Keep on pulsing. Just lean over a little bit. Pull that belly in and pulse it up. Come on. Up. Up. 15 seconds. Don't quit. Small pulses up. Wrist are in a straight line. Keep going. Pulse it up. That's it. Doing great. Final five seconds. Up. Up. Up, last one, and now release the tension. The next one is front raises, all front side of the shoulder. What we're going to do is to keep the arms slightly bent, raise up. And of course, we're going to do that a little bit faster. So shoulders back, chest up, and go. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, pump it up. Raising the weights on shoulder height and then lowering down. But do not drop the weights to your legs like this, swinging around. Focus on lifting that weight and lowering that weight down, working the shoulders. That's it. Tuck your belly in. Engage your core as well. Come on, knees slightly bent, wrist in a straight line, arms slightly bent, and just keep raising your arms up. That's it. Up, up, right and left, and right and left. Ten more seconds. Don't quit. Keep going. Up and up, all and eating, left and right, final ones, and now drop the weight. We're going down to the floor, and with the floor exercises, you need your weights. So what we're going to do is one for the chest. Knees are bent, feet on the floor, press the weights out above your chest, and then lowering down. Elbows straight above the floor, and then press back out. Up, up, wrist in a straight line, Elbows down and press the weights up. That's it. Bringing the weights together above your chest. Come on, keep pressing. Working the front side of your shoulders and your chest. That's it. Up and down. Keep your arms slightly bent. We do 15 seconds. Come on, keep going. Elbows down and press up. And just a few more, five seconds. Up 
And the last one, that's it. And we stay down here. No time to sleep. But what we're going to do is bring the weights together in both hands and we're going to lower them down above the head and then press back up. Make sure you tuck your belly in, your whole back is touching the floor. So no hollow back and go. So we'll lower the weight down to right above the head and then back up, back up. Tuck your belly in, make sure your back is touching the floor. Also, when you lower that weight down above your head, right above the floor. Come on, up, lower down and up. If you can't touch the floor with your whole back, then don't lower your weights that much above your head. Then just keep it up as far as you can and bring back up. Come on, final five seconds. And the last one. And that's it. Coming up over to the standing exercises again. And that means we're halfway in the second round already. So the first one, hammer curls, hands are going up. We're bringing the weight back to the shoulders again. Knees slightly bent, upper body straight up, lift your arms and curl. That's it. And if you can, speed it up a little bit. Keep your elbows still and up. And curl. Hand palms facing towards each other. And extend. Come on, keep it up. Keep it up. Don't overstretch your arm. Keep them slightly bent. Tension on your biceps. Shoulders down low. Don't pull your shoulders up towards your ears. And indeed, lower them down. Chest up. And we have 10 seconds left to go. Come on. Don't lower your elbows down. Keep them up and curling. Weights towards the shoulder and then extending. Final ones. And lower down. Over to the back side. Making that refires fly pulses. Feet a little bit wider than the hips. Knees slightly bent. Tuck the belly in and your back straight. Palms facing up and pulse it. Come on, shoulder blades together, chest up. That's it, pulse it. Arms slightly bent, wrist in a straight line. That's it. Come on, pulse it up. Up, up. Just keep going, you're doing a great job. Pulse it up. Working the back side of your shoulders. Shoulder blades together, come on, keep going. Keep your back straight. Don't make a hollow back, hop. Keep going, 15 seconds. Ignore the burn and just keep going. Pulse it up. That's it. Final seconds. Almost there. And that's it. Final pulse and come up. The next one, alternating front raises, lifting left and right, alternating. If you don't hip wide again, roll your shoulders back, chest up. Arms are slightly bended, wrist in a straight line, and there you go, left and right. Come on, lift it up, working the front side of the shoulders. Just lift the weights up on chest height and then lowering down. And focus on that motion. Do not swing like this. Just keep your arms straight and focus on that effort of your shoulders. Come on, bring it up. That's it. Keep going, alternating left and right, 15 seconds. Come on, tone it up. Working the shoulders, tuck your belly in, engage your core. Final five seconds, come on, finish strong, and that's it. Okay, and back to the floor already. So, over to the chest presses. Bend your legs, tuck the belly in, back is on the floor. And hands are up on chest height, all the way down. Elbows out, press back up. That's it. Working the chest, front side of the shoulders. Come on, press out, up. Bringing the weights together above the chest. And then lowering the elbows down to right above the floor, and then pressing back out. Just one more exercise after this one, and then you finish the workout, we're going to do some stretches. Come on, keep pressing. Tuck the belly in, up. Come on, 15 seconds. Work the chest, front side of the shoulders. Press the weights up, up. Almost there. 
We do one more and that's it. Lower the weights down for just a few seconds. And we're going over to the final one. We're going to lower the weight above the head to right above the floor and then bring the weights back up. Make sure you keep your whole back on the floor. If you, may, if you have a hollow back, then just don't go as far down. There we go. Weights in both hands and lower that weight down and bring back up. So tuck that belly and press your back against the floor. Lower the weights above your head to right above the floor if you can. And then bring the weights back up. Come on. It's the final exercise. You're almost at the end of this workout. So finish strong, lower that weight, and bring back up. 10 more seconds, just a few more reps. Come on, up, lower down, up. And we do two more. And the final one, come on, that's it. Okay, roll up. Drop the weights, you don't need them anymore. And we're going to stand up for some stretching exercises. So you did a great job. And now we're releasing the tension out of the muscles. Start with a quick shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. That's it, come on, keep on shaking. And that's it, go over to the swings. If you don't need the steps, just stand still and swing. It's all about releasing the tension out of your upper body. So choose your option with the steps or just standing still and making the swings. Release the tension out of your shoulders, out of your arms. Just swing. That's it. And after the swings, of course, we're going to do some stretches. We start with a stretch for the shoulders. So what we're going to do is a few shoulder rolls, big ones, come on. Scoop it down, bring up, big ones. One more, and then if you're ready, left arm is going to the front. Press that shoulder down low and pull that arm towards your chest. And you can feel the stretch all the way from the back to the front side of the shoulder. And then just enjoy that stretch. Feel, feel that stretch on your left shoulder. Pull that shoulder down, arm towards your chest. And then when you're ready, Release, swing a couple times, make a shoulder roll, and then over to that right arm. Swing in front, shoulder down low, pull that arm towards the chest, and now feel that stretch on the right shoulder. Keep pressing that shoulder down, pull that arm towards the chest, and enjoy that stretch. Just a few more seconds. And release, okay. Another few swings, and then we're going to stretch the chest. And we're going to do that to interlace the fingers behind our back, like this, interlace it, and then pull your arms back and open your chest. That's it. Chest up, pull your arms down, and just feel that stretch on the, sh on the chest front side of the shoulders. And if you want, then pull a little bit to the left side, and over to the right side. And come center, and then we're going to bend over, roll the arms over as far as you can, feeling that stretch. Bring your shoulder blades together, keep pulling on your arms, stretching up your chest, your shoulders, and then come back up, and release. Shake it out, releasing the tension, and now we're going to stretch the back side of our arms, the tricep, and we're going to do that. Hand is going in between your shoulder blades as far as you can, and then pull that elbow towards your head. Try to touch the back side of your shoulders with your arm or your hand between your shoulder blades so you can feel that stretch on your tricep. Just enjoy that stretch. Pull your arm back a little bit. Just enjoy it. Feel that uh, stretching on your tricep. And then again, if you're ready, release the tension, shake it out, curl and extend, swing your arms a couple times, and then we do the same stretch on the right side, hand is going between your shoulder blades or on the back side of your head, as far as you can reach, and then pull that arm towards your head, a little bit to the back, so you can feel that stretch on your tricep. That's it. Just hold it where you can feel that stretch. That's it. 
And when you're ready, really swing it out. We're going to do one final stretch. We had a lot of weights. We did um, uh, bending on our wrist. So what we're going to do is releasing the tension out of the wrist. So interlace your fingers and rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. That's it. And then grab your left fingers and pull them back towards your body and press your wrist over your arm in front. So pull your fingers towards your body. You can feel that stretch on your wrist, on your lower arm. That's it. And release. Interlace your fingers again. There we go. Rotating. And now, of course, grabbing the left, right fingers, pulling towards the body, and bring that wrist over. Feeling that stretch. Hold it a few more seconds. And we're going to finish with interlacing the fingers. Rotate your wrist. That's it. And now swing out your arms too. And the last one. That's it. Very well done. You finished this workout. Be proud of yourself as always. Give yourself that well-deserved thumbs up. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this workout. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time with another workout. Bye.